Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, pollution is in the path of Hurricane Milton in Florida. Over a billion tons of phosphogypsum stacked in 24 different stacks in Florida, and about 30 million new tons are generated each year. According to Florida Polytechnic University, 22 of these stacks are located around Tampa in Manatee, Polk, and Hillsborough counties. There is at least some risk that one of these facilities hosts a repeat of Tiny Point if inundated by Milton's storm surge. The greater Tampa area also hosts a number of Superfund sites, including 12 in Hillsborough County alone. The threat of floodwaters moving highly toxic substances off-site into waterways and communities is a major public health concern, as our researchers explain in our Perfect Storm report. You can read about this at Environment America Research and Policy Center. A couple other articles I wanted to show you real quick with, with silver. Silver miners, they may not be able to meet their quota, even if they raise prices. So there's actually a lot of opportunity right now in silver as well as gold. But if you're looking at, like if you've got a 401 or an IRA, or if you're looking for ways to hedge against inflation, if you're looking for ways to protect your assets, I would strongly recommend Noble Gold Investments converting your 401 or IRA into precious metals and diversifying. Now, I'm not a financial expert and there's never any guarantees. So you look at what the money funders are doing. Noble Gold Investments has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Gold and silver and precious metals have been around for thousands of years. And the big banks are usurping enormous amounts of precious metals right now. And the amount of solar panels that are going to be needed in the future to meet certain quotas and the amount of silver to make solar panels, it's remarkable. So give Noble Gold Investments a call, 1-877-646-5347. Also go to leakprojectgold.com and find out how to get a uh, 10 ounces of free silver. You can either pick a 10 ounce American flag solid silver bar, or they have these uh, Trump rounds and you can get 10 ounces worth of Trump rounds. Your choice. Real simple, 877-646-5347. LeakProjectGold.com, get the free ebooks, and let's get back to the podcast. Listen to this. Central Florida also hosts a number of facilities storing phosphogypsum, the waste left over after processing phosphate into fertilizer. The waste can be radioactive, and more commonly, it contains high levels of phosphorus and nitrogen, which contribute to red tide, toxic algae, fish kills. In March 2021, the Piney Point phosphogypsum. Waste pond leaked and 215 million gallons of wastewater flowed into Tampa Bay. Not good. Billion tons of radioactive waste in Milton's path. You can also read about this at Fortune. More than 1 billion tons of slightly radioactive phosphogypsum waste is stored in stacks that resemble enormous ponds at risk for leaks during major storms. That's Fortune, or you go to ABC News. Polluted waste from Florida's fertilizer industry is in the path of Milton's furry as Hurricane Milton bears down on Florida's West Coast with powerful winds and flooding rain. Environmentalists are worried it could scatter the polluted leftovers of the state's phosphate fertilizer mining industry and other hazards across the state. So we'll keep you posted on this. Listen to this, more than 1 billion tons of slightly radioactive Phosphogypsum waste is stored in stacks that resemble enormous ponds at risk for leaks during major storms. Florida has 25 such stacks, most concentrated around enormous phosphate mines and fertilizer processing plants in the central part of the state. And environmentalists say nearly all of them are in Milton's projected path. Buckle up, Buttercup. It's going to get bumpy. Let's take a look at the, the latest information right now. Let's go directly to Hurricane Milton, the key messages for Hurricane Milton. This is the latest advisory warning. A large area of destructive storm surge with highest inundations of 10 feet or greater expected along a portion of the west central coast of the Florida Peninsula. Near the coast, the surge will be accompanied by damaging waves. Water levels will rise rapidly as the eye approaches and storm onshore and strong onshore winds on the backside of the hurricane will also cause a rapid rise in water as the center makes landfall. 
Devastating hurricane force winds are expected along portions of the west coast of Florida within the hurricane warning area. Life-threatening hurricane force winds, especially in gusts, are expected to spread inland across the peninsula and to portions of the Florida east coast within the hurricane warning area tonight and early Thursday. Residents should be prepared to take shelter in an interior room away from the windows as the core of the hurricane moves across the central Florida peninsula. The risk of strong tornadoes will continue into the evening. Hours across the southern and central portions of the Florida Peninsula, be prepared to take immediate shelter in an interior room if a tornado warning is issued in your area. Heavy rainfall across the Florida Peninsula through Thursday brings the risk of catastrophic and life-threatening flash and urban flooding, along with moderate to major river flooding, especially in areas where coastal and inland flooding combine to increase the overall flood threat. So it's it, folks. Welcome to Hurricane Milton. Central Florida looks like it's going to be hit the hardest. The winds hit just a short while ago, and it looks like they're going to be going through for the next several hours. You know, another thing also that you want to know about, and this is the second in 20 years, this is an extreme, or should, I'm sorry, a severe G4 severe storm watch for October 11th, the 10th and 11th, as you can see right here, a fast coronal mass ejection erupted from the sun the evening of October 8th and is likely to arrive on earth October 10th. This CME has been analyzed and speed estimates are 1200 to 1300 kilometers a second. This makes for a potential arrival time as early as the morning to midday of October 10th, Eastern time. There is a potential to reach G4 severe upon arrival of this CME. And throughout its passage, we won't know the characteristics of the CME until it arrives 1 million miles from Earth and its speed and magnetic intensity are measured by the DS, COVR, and ACE satellites. For the latest information, check out Leak Project and NOAA.gov, Space Weather Prediction Center. That's what Hurricane Milton looks like currently. It's the, one of the biggest storms I've ever seen. Look at how much of Florida is under a threat of at least 70% risk of rainfall exceeding flash flood guidance within a 25-mile range at the point you can see here. Much of Florida under somewhat of a threat of flooding. Let's go back to the storm real quick and see if we can get any more information on this. So a G4 severe power systems, possible widespread voltage control problems. Some protective systems will mistakenly trip out key assets from the grid. Spacecraft operations may experience surface charging and tracking problems. Corrections may be needed for orientation problems as well as other systems. Induced pipeline currents affect preventative measures, HF radio, propagation, sporadic satellite navigation degraded for hours, low frequency radio navigation disrupted, and aurora has been as low as Alabama and Northern California, typically 45 degree geomagnetic latitude. Now, biological unavoidable radiation hazard to astronauts Passengers and crew in high-flying aircraft and high latitudes may be exposed to radiation risk. Satellite operations may experience memory device problems and noise on imaging systems. Star tracker problems may cause orientation problems, and solar panel efficiency can be degraded. Blackouts of high-frequency radio communications through the polar regions and increased navigation errors over several days are likely, and that's based on a severe solar radiation storm and we looked at the severe geomagnetic storm weather scales. Check that out. Boom. Here's the Aurora forecast.
Here's the estimated planetary K index. So it looks like some of the stations are down, but the ones that are up, then some spiking in the spectrogram graphing here. Nothing too intense. You can see the sites right down here, linked to their numbers to the right. June 20th, June 3rd, nothing really extreme since then. Well, folks, we'll keep you posted. Stay out of the, stay out of those scary areas that you might drown. You don't want that to happen now. Be prepared, not scared. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful day. Hit the bell. Be well. Be safe. Be prepared. Not scared. Be the change you want to see.